<laughs> now, I'm going to give you your first order. Every month you need to find a gift and bring it to the aristocrat club. If you don't, I'll kill you. Is there anything about this that you don't understand? Quite a lot, but uh, I don't want to be killed. <laughs> no. Hmm. Oh well, it doesn't really matter what you say. You see, Jennifer, there are really only two kinds of people in the world. <laughs> those who take orders and those who give them. And from now on, <laughs> I'll be giving the orders. <laughs> You're so grounded after this. Well, dear Jennifer, nothing's fair here. <laughs> you will follow my orders or else. <laughs> For I am the prince and the prince rules. <laughs> this is your life, but you'll play by my rules. <laughs> Let the games begin, dear Jennifer. <laughs> it's the world's smallest guillotine. They haven't worked out the kinks yet. And so... The rope was cut. Snip, snip. And the girl joined the aristocrat club. Congratulations. Congratulations. I don't feel like it's really something to celebrate about. The scissors are just out of her reach. Really? No, they're not. Come on. Apply some effort, Jennifer. The blackboard is badly smudged and unreadable. As the girl examined the head of the scarecrow, it pleaded, Lass, please help me find my head. Once I am whole again, I'll return the favor. Can you let me save in the meantime? No, I guess I have to find your head first, don't I? Foul-smelling laundry basket set on the shelf. Dirty clothes are stuffed inside them. As the girl looked at the rubbish bin, it spoke to her. Really? My belly is as dark as night, and as deep as the abyss. Anything in the world that is dropped will be collected inside it. Any item you collect can be stored in this rubbish bin. If you can't find a bin, just select an item from the menu screen, select drop, and the item will be stored here. That's pretty cool, I do like that system. Uh... I think we're good for now. What's good about that is even if we do have a full inventory, we can just drop whatever we don't need. We'll hold on to everything for now. When the girl examined the bucket, it pleaded. Lass, please put me back atop my body. Back on top of the headless scarecrow behind you. If you do, I'll help you in return. As the girl placed the bucket in its proper place, it spoke. I am the Bucket Knight, Keeper of Promises. Yet, time can be so cruel for I have aged and cannot remember the past. You know what I refer to, and I know that you know. However, you do not know at the moment, nor can you remember. Let us recall our memories together in order to remember our promise. I just want to save, guy. <laughs> when you aren't sure about how to proceed, talk to the Bucket Knight and select Ask for Clues. Uh, yeah, let's just save. game's getting a little weird. Everything's talking to me. That seems like everything in here.
Sector 8 cargo bay. Does that mean we are on board the airfish? I'm just going to keep calling it airfish. That seems like a pretty good name for it. Maybe. You are invited to the aristocrat club by the red crayon aristocrats. Okay, at this point I have no idea where to go or what to do. I've not played up to this point yet. Huh, okay. Guess we're not going in there. Though it should be nice going through a game blind again. I think it kind of makes it more fun that way, since I don't know what to expect. Only problem is I might get lost for a bit here and there. But if we really need help, we can always talk to the bug at night. I'm gonna hope this is like Silent Hill and most of the doors are going to be locked. I know back to that orphanage you could go pretty much everywhere. But there wasn't really much point of it, just kind of exploring. Invite it again, just in case you missed it the first time. Red Crayon Royalty, Red Rose Princess, Bear Prince, Duchess Countess Baroness, Bourgeoisie, Poor and Beggar. Guess the hierarchy of the rule of Rose. We have three different ways to go now. What's this? The Rule of Gifts. Find a gift of the month. All members must participate. Tardiness, stealing, and cheating are prohibited. Junk, toys, and more. What? No refunds on the exchange. All right. Ah! This is my library. All these books are mine. Sick bay? We don't want to go in here. Ah! Uh, no, you, you really don't want to come in here. It's pretty bad. Library too? Ah! <laughs> You're gonna run out of kids eventually. Ah! There's two sick rooms? Yeah. Looking through the window, the unlucky girl saw that she was above the clouds. Inside the airfish. The airship slowly swam through the sky, carrying the helpless girl inside. Let's go this way then. Is there another kid over here? In the processing room? No, dressing room. Okay. That's a little less creepy. <laughs> VIP room? No. Like always, we're not allowed inside. There are wear marks on this wall. And it's still locked, even though I found this secret door. Oh well go in there eventually. The girl has found a strange door, but where does it lead? read the poster first. This month's gift, a beautiful butterfly, one per person. Uh, the box? Is this where we just put the butterfly in? A strange box is attached to the door. 
It speaks to you. No. <laughs> Probably shouldn't open the door without the butterfly. No, we can anyway. Good. That could have ended badly if the kids wanted a butterfly and we didn't have one. As the unlucky girl stood helplessly, the door spoke. Oh, it does speak. Give me a beautiful butterfly, one per person. Is that clear? No gift, no entry. Is that clear? Give me a butterfly. Give me. A butterfly. Find one, and you shall be invited to join the aristocrat club. Well, I know where one is. I don't know how I should catch it, though. Oh man. This could potentially be pretty creepy. the kids study, I suppose. Not gonna bother looking through the keyhole of the sick bay? I guess that's, well, I guess the kid could have been breathing through the keyhole, and that's probably instant sick. Uh, hey, what's up? The unlucky girl met Clara, the frightened princess. As the princess looked down, she spoke to the girl with a feeble voice. How dirty. <laughs> the unlucky girl met Hoffman, the strict teacher. When Hoffman caught Jennifer looking at him, he snapped at her. Dirty wretch. Why are you always shirking your duties? Okay. 